Um, the second question I had, um, if you have uh, been following some of the later Transformers stuff, what is your opinion on it and on any of them? And how much do you think you would do something differently or change? Something. Well, as I said before, I live on this little Transformers island, and uh, so I'm not, a, I'm not so aware. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't call in experts. Yeah. Anyway, so I've, I've only seen a few of the uh, recent movies, so I don't have much, much more opinion beyond what I've seen in the movies. And uh, I found the first movie pretty good. I found the Bumblebee movie pretty good. I'd rather not comment on the ones in between. <laughs> and, um, and I don't know, I, I've, I've, I'm, pretty clueless, I'm pretty clueless about whatever else has gone on between 1989 and now as far as other comic books, animation, anything like that. So, uh, but I don't, you know, I'm just not so immersed in, you know, what's happening in the Transformers universe as I used to be when I worked on the book. I see, I see. Yeah, like Bob, I moved on and been involved in many other projects, uh, not that much animation. And uh, I do know that Hasbro is making a top secret announcement on the 18th this Thursday. Uh, in San Diego at a concert venue which will feature the music of the Transformers conducted by the composer Vin DeCola. And yes. everybody connected with it has had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. And I've been told that the guy at, ha at Hasbro who is responsible for all things Transformers wants to see me. So if you read about my death... <laughs> I can't imagine what it is. Wow. 